Back into Big Ten play for the Wisconsin Badgers, a Thursday night matchup against the Minnesota Golden Gophers, a night where Wisconsin really had trouble shooting straight, especially in the first half. 15-point hole pulled to within two late, but the Gophers were able to pull away and get out of town with a 59-52 victory. We'll go back over that game on Thursday night, look ahead to Sunday's matchup against Penn State. We'll also introduce you to the newest Badger, Micah Potter, the transfer from Ohio State. And we'll also talk with Ty Strickland, the freshman guard out of Florida, as well as our weekly chat with Greg Gard, all coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Goes in half, quick double, back out the Weavers. He'll feed Trice at the top. Tight defense along the perimeter for Minnesota. Inside feed, Iverson catches mid post right. Trying to split two defenders. He does, throws it up and in. Oh, that was tough. And Iverson splits the defense to tie the game at two. A minute and a half gone by. Half working on him to the right lane line. Out to Thomas, feeds Davidson. We're three minutes in, four to two, Wisconsin leading Minnesota. Half at the top. Curry defends. Ethan spin move in the lane, up left hand. Good. Half with four early for Wisconsin. King on the right wing for Wisconsin. Loops it into half, out to Pritzel, open three straight away, good. There it is, lid is off. After missing their first six from the arc, Pritzel bangs a triple. Davison surveys the defense, picks up the dribble, needs half, mid post left. Ethan in the lane, goes up right hand, good. Six for half, 14-11 Minnesota, 7-10 left in the first half. Trice out high, he'll throw to Reavers. He'll try a three left of the circle. Thank you, it is good. First hit of the night for Nader Reavers, 23-14. Minnesota with 325 left of the first half. It's off the rim, no good. Hack pulls down the rebound for the Badgers. A minute 40 gone by second half. Still 29-14, Minnesota. Here's Hap driving left of the lane, runs it up. Got it, it counts, and a foul. Hap takes it strong to the cup. And it's an and one, Oturu the foul, that's his third. The rebound snapped away by Brad Davison of Wisconsin. Davison on the dribble to the front court, three minutes gone, second half, Badgers down 12. Davison a bounce to half, draws a double right block, he'll spin, up right hand, good. Spun away from the double team attempt, 31-21 Minnesota, 16.50 to play. Half on the dribble to the front court against Curry. Curry trying to take the hit, no sale, feed strikes, 4-3, bang. Demetri Trice for three, and here they come. Badgers within five. Four and a half minutes gone by, second half. Reavers holding, finds Davis and splits two defenders. Out to Reavers, shot fake from three. Dribbles in the lane, one pump, knocked away, got it back. He'll turn, 12-footer, good. Got to work for it. It's Kobe King to the front court. King on the right side, flips to Davis in high on the left. Shovels it to Reavers, left of the lane. Reavers backing on Hurt, one pump goes up and in. Reavers trying to pull Wisconsin back into the fight. Flips to Davison, ran high on the right against Gabe Kalsher. A throw to Iverson, goes into Reavers at the right block. Reavers backing, has fallen down was Jordan Murphy. Reavers takes advantage, he'll turn and punch. Ethan was telling me when he's off the court, we need another post presence, so I was trying to get in there, get easy looks, because things weren't falling outside for us. Yeah, I thought he was much more physical in the paint. I thought he was, you know, that's what I think Nate of the future will continue to look at like as he gets more opportunities there. You know, he goes one for six from three, and yesterday he couldn't miss in practice. He had the exact same looks and the exact same situation, and everything was going in for him. So, uh, but the nice thing is he didn't let that frustrate him in the first half. He got himself in the paint the second half and uh, got to the free throw line and, you know, energized us there as we, we made a push back. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Iverson for the Badgers. Here comes Dimitri Trice, feeding half of the right side. Half back to Trice for three, right corner, got it. Second three-point hit for Trice. 49-43, Minnesota with 5.15 to play. McBrayer, a bounce for Curry, picked off by Hap. Hap on the push, McBrayer chasing. Ethan glides to the rim, layup, good. Big steal and a layup for Hap. Comes Trice off the left wing, floats it up and in off the glass. Badgers within two, two minutes left of the Cole Center. I was said before the game about how, you know, this is one of the best um, years for the Big Ten in, in a while where every night you're not going to have any of these games. Um, and that was proven to us tonight. And, you know, if we don't come ready to play, it'll be the same thing um, against Penn State. This is Wisconsin basketball. Stolen by Ethan Happ. Happ to the rim, and he hammers it down. Let 
with the right hand. He'll drive to the goal and hammers it down. It's running into Davison, who takes the charge again. Between the Trice, who splashes a triple. Out the fourth, the three, left of the circle, tie game. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is presented by hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. This is where amazing happens where ideas turn into realities. This is where they developed a better way to observe blood flow, a better way to visualize pediatric heart surgeries before they even happen. You see, at UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital, they're not just changing the lives of their patients, they're changing the way the world treats complex pediatric conditions. UW Health, remarkable. <coughs> flu season. It'll get here before you know it. Good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at Hy-V. Save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today. Plus use your Hy-V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas. There's no appointment necessary, so why wait for the flu to get you? Visit your Hy-V pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent Hy-V Fuel Saver discount today. Some restrictions apply. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. Left of the lane, digging down Davison. Pivoting to the to the baseline, Oturu shot up no good. Rebound plucked out of the lane by Ethan Happ of Wisconsin. Ethan threw the logo to the front court. Tied at two, a minute 50 in. Trice hooks a pass to Happ. Slams on the brakes, left lane line. Now goes in the paint, floats it up right hand, good. 4-2 Wisconsin, we're two minutes in. Ball screen, Reavers. Davison throws to Reavers for three. Rattles out, no good. Rebound, tip from Pritzel to Ford, out the King. And a reset for Wisconsin. Davison, Bulldogs his way down the lane, scoops it up and in. First points of the night for Davison, 40 to 34. Minnesota with 10 minutes to play at the Kohl Center. McGrayer high on the right, 10 on the shot clock. Hard heads by Reavers on the screen. McGrayer flips to Curry, left of the circle, five to shoot. Coffee at the top of the arc with three to shoot. Retreats with two to shoot, with one to shoot. Coffee, desperation shot rejected by Hap. Shot clock violation. Big Ten schedule resumes on Sunday night, day 6.30 tip up in State College, Pennsylvania. The Badgers and the Penn State and Indian Lions. As this week, Wisconsin getting back into Big Ten play along with everybody else in the conference. Uh, the rivalry matchup, first of two in the regular season against Minnesota. And I know, Greg, you mentioned after the Western Kentucky game, cleaning some things up on the defensive end. And it seemed like that happened. It's tough when the ball doesn't go in the hole. For, for your guys at the other end, but defensively, you felt like they played well enough to give you a chance? Absolutely, there was no doubt that we were, you know, we didn't, we were the Western Kentucky game, it was the second half defensively. First right. half, we were fine. Um, it was the second half, so we've had, you know, a bad half defensively there, a bad half offensively in the first half against Minnesota and against better teams, you can't do that. But that defensively definitely gets Minnesota well enough to win. We've won several games at that same level uh, in terms of points per possession and how we defended, shooting percentage, those type of things. Um, to the other end of the floor, we've got to be obviously more consistent and produce more, in that, specifically in that first half. And I think, too, going back a little bit to the Western Kentucky game, sometimes a, a quick jack 
or a live ball turnover, and certainly right. the live ball turnovers came into play against Minnesota, but that can create some easy opportunities as well for the other team. Uh, the, your best defense is when you get five set, and we always try to do everything in our power to have our defense set as much as possible. And when it's not, you know, teams take advantage of it. We try to take advantage of it when we can on our offensive end. But uh, yeah, just a you know a few here or there, and a matter of a couple can tip the the scales of a game. So you're you're trying to get your defense set as much as possible, and the best way to do that is continue to get to the free throw line, which we got to continue to do a better job of, and and not have the live ball turnovers, and then you're back and set and do a much better job when you have L5 ready to go. It seemed like the resolve was there. I mean, it's a 15 point deficit at the end of the first half, and you get it, you guys get it to two, and then. Amir Coffey, credit to him, makes a tough shot, but still it's there, right? So you had, you had to do focus a lot of times, those of us on the outside, on what went wrong the last couple of minutes or in the first half, but they had to do a lot of things right to get in position. No, we did a lot of things right the second half. Had we done that on the first half, we were talking <laughs> a totally different story. We win that game. and um, So, yeah, you give our guys credit. They played extremely hard. We, we battled. We did what we needed to do defensively and offensively, really, the second half. It was a matter of being more consistent. But um, that resolve and that grit and that will to come back and, and really defending, that's where you're going to give, give yourself a chance. You know, we had three turnovers there late in the game. But for the most part in the second half, we took care of the ball, which gives you a chance. And then we defended really well. We just can't have such a big a hole going into halftime. We, we talk so much about Hap, Trice, Davison. A question that we get, I'm sure you do when you when you have outings, about some of the younger guys, although Lean Ford's been around a little bit, Kobe King only played 10 games last year. What's the next step for those guys to be able to, to get, I mean, they're getting about what? The Kobe's getting about 20 minutes a game. Right. Is that about right, or what's the next step for Well, I think being consistently aggressive. Yeah. That's the one thing I've seen with all those guys, Brevin included with mm -hmm. that trio, um, that their aggressive, aggressiveness level deviates a little bit and we're really trying to encourage them to play aggressively play confidently um, but that's when you have players that don't have as much experience haven't had as much success maybe on a on a, a consistent basis like Ethan has or like Demetrius has or even Brad you have a tendency to kind of um, bail out or so to speak defer to somebody else and that's what we've got to help those guys grow through is that they need to come in and really contribute and really be aggressive and and all three of those guys can score in different ways and, and can contribute different things. But uh, hopefully we'll continue to, we've seen signs of it, and that's got to become consistently all the time. I have to remind myself with Kobe, he did play just the 10 games, so 14 games this season. It's just a developmental program, so it's not going to happen It's not going to happen overnight, overnight right? as much as we want it to <laughs> and as much as we're trying to have instant gratification. <laughs> we got to stay patient. but. Uh, uh, persistent while we're trying to remain patient. And right back on the road, as you have often said, the great thing about basketball is, as opposed to football, you don't have to wait a week. And uh, this turnaround's fairly quick, a Sunday night game. I know Penn State's record is what it is overall and in the Big Ten, but I think, well, you know this far better than the rest of us, winning there is far from easy. Right. And I think we've seen that so far. You know, they're 0-3 they're as we go in, but having played Michigan really tough at Michigan the other night, having a two-point game at home with Indiana, having a five or six-point game with Maryland on the road. They beat Virginia Tech in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, who's a top ten team right now. So it, it is a team that uh, has some pieces. They're getting Mike Watkins back now, so that's he's been out and out of the lineup quite a bit. So it's a team that's trying to find their way with some new pieces. Lamar Stevens is still there, obviously, and uh, Reeves is back. But there's a lot of other new pieces that they're trying to fit together, and, and having Watkins back in the middle I think is making a big difference for them. Yeah, so it's been 13 months since you last played, but I was down a while. It, I, looking this up, the last six trips you guys have had there, they've all turned out the right way, but they've all been one or two possession games. Yeah, there hasn't. You go way back. That we've had some doozies that have gone there. When records really, you kind of, it's cliche, you say throw them out, but uh, it really over the years has proved to be that way. And it is a beautiful thing. It's only, it's only a couple days before you have that next game. So you do the corrections, you have the right. film session, and then bam, it's on the practice floor, get ready for Turn the, the page one. and go. The way it works. Coach will join us again in a few minutes with this week's installment of the Great Day and Great Question of the Week as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.
the official decision was made, uh, I think it was three days before um, the first game at Ohio State. Um, and the reason for that was if I would have played um, at Ohio State one minute in the first game, I would have lost a year of eligibility. Um, so I talked with compliance. I was like, look, like, what are the rules of all of this stuff? So I wanted to make sure I was doing it legally, but also making sure I was doing what was right for myself. Um, so they said if you, you can play in the preseason scrimmage and the exhibition game, um, and it doesn't matter, um, but you can't play in a game. Um, so I tried to make it work as long as possible because I grew up an Ohio kid. I grew up a Buckeye fan, and I have a younger brother who's going to be there in five days. Uh, he's going to be there and play football. Um, but I had to do what was best for me. Um, and that, I, that means leaving. Um, and then obviously, uh, I came here and visited here first um, and visited one other school in Vanderbilt. Um, but really, Wisconsin had my heart from the get-go. It was like, felt like this was home. Me and Brad talk about it all the time. Like, I want to play. Like, I'm sick of sitting around, even though it's only been a couple weeks, you know? Um, but the biggest thing is I'm taking this time to make sure I'm getting myself better. Um, I got a full year off to just work on my own game um, and make these guys better. So that's the biggest thing I'm trying to focus on. Take it one day at a time, make sure I'm getting better every day, and make sure these guys are getting better every day. And I know I'm going up against guys like Nate and, you know, Ethan and Aleem and Charlie um, and Meech. Um, and <laughs> and uh, the biggest thing is just making it competitive. Um, I know I've been playing in the Big Ten the last two years. Um, I know uh, the physicality and toughness that you need to be able to play here and be successful. Um, and that's just what I'm trying to bring to practice. I'm trying to make these guys better and make myself better at the same time. I know what it takes to be successful in the Big Ten. Um, I was part of a team last year that um, was in, we got second place and made a run in the tournament and started off 9-0 in the Big Ten. So I know what it takes to be successful. Um, and the biggest thing is I'm just trying to show them what that's like in practice. Um, obviously, I've still got work i got to do myself, but I know with my experience, I can help these guys out for sure. <coughs> Flu season. It'll get here before you know it. Good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at Hy-Vee. Save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today. Plus, use your Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks card, and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas. There's no appointment necessary, so why wait for the flu to get you? Visit your Hy-Vee pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent Hy-Vee fuel saver discount today. Some restrictions apply. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college <laughs> athletics. Ever since she can remember, she's wanted to become a doctor, a surgeon to be exact. Maybe it's because she's good at science or because she loves math, or maybe it's because Lydia was born with a serious craniofacial anomaly, a cleft lip and palate that required a series of complex surgeries. And now she just wants to help others just like the surgeons at UW Health helped her. UW Health in the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. The Learfield Director's Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com. USA Today or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Revan holding, it throws to Strickland, rotates to Davison, back to tie for three, right of the circle, good. Ty Strickland for three, that's his first three point hit as a Badger. I came in in June, July, you know, our summer session, and it was kind of like, whoa, it's a, it's a lot to take in, especially at my position. But, you know, I had Meech in front of me, Trevor in front of me, and for me to sit there, watch those guys, learn from those guys, it adds elements to my game I didn't even know I had. Gathered by Fritzel, shot clock at five. Strict left-hand dribble in the lane, up left-hand, sweet. He can scoop. Chose his spot perfectly there, did Ty Strickland. He gives us something that we don't have, and as a freshman to be able to do that uh, says a lot for him, and then to take advantage of the opportunity that, that has presented itself. Um, you know, there, there's not a lot of guys that we have 
that can uh, start the offense and uh, run point guard. And, uh, you know, he's taking advantage of that opportunity and, and growing at the right time. Whether I do something right or wrong, he's always in my ear. You could do this better, or maybe you should try doing this. So that kind of knowledge, I mean, I brought up, I was brought up with my dad being a, a big time point guard. So for him to have a different perspective, it just adds more and more to my game. You can really see uh, things clicking. You can see the wheels turning out there. Uh, some of the mistakes he was doing early on, he's not doing uh, as often. And, uh, you know, he's just growing as a player maturity-wise. Hat draws a double, Strickland's open. He'll launch it straight away. Good off the glass. Strickland with six. I would say a lot of it is just on the mental side, you know, slowing myself down because, you know, you start getting a couple minutes and you're like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I got to have poise, slow myself down, and that, that, that's really it, and everything will start coming together. He's in a tough spot because he doesn't know whether he's going to play, whether he's going to play at all, you know, in certain games. And that's real tough. Uh, position to be in, but he's also learning how do you prepare yourself uh, for that uh, position. Whether you're going to get in or not, you're going to be ready. And I think that's where he's getting right now is he's preparing himself better. And uh, whether he plays or not, he, he's ready to help the team. You hate someone to go down, especially, you know, Trevor's a great guy, great teammate, and he really pushes stuff in practice. So uh, for him to go down, it was, it was my turn to step into that role as a competitor and I, I'm not as vocal as he is but you know, I, I have the same fiery competitiveness so for me uh, being on scout team that that was the role I had to take on to push those guys on the first team you know he is so talented and able to to do things offensively and and even defensively you know he's so quick getting through ball screens and all those little things that he can do uh, you know but learning his spots when do you uh, jump a passing lane or get a hand in the passing lane. When uh, do you dig uh, really hard on the post stuff? Uh, just things like that. He just has to continue to get experience and learn. They are the ones who found a way to isolate a single prostate cancer cell hidden amongst a billion healthy blood cells. The ones pioneering advanced genomic testing in order to create personalized treatment protocols. They are the ones you want to talk to when the diagnosis is prostate cancer. They are the physicians and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center. UW Health, remarkable. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Learfield Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is presented by UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for this week's Great Dane. Great question of the week, and we check in with Ryan in Mount Horeb. Um, 
must know the guard family. He knows about Greg being a head coach, obviously. Jeff down at Platteville, a head coach. But Greg, uh, Ryan wants to know, is it true that Gary is actually the best player in the family? <laughs> well, Ryan, thanks for your question. Um, depends on which sport, I guess, you want to talk about. Um, he obviously had some mentorship from me. Jeff was a little bit behind him. So uh, we all had our strengths. We all had our weaknesses. Um, None of us played basketball in college, if that gives you any. We were all deviated into a different sport. And those two guys played football. I played a little baseball. So um, we, we haven't gotten back in the driveway to settle any scores that were left. I think once I won, I moved on and let those two younger guys fight it out as they were coming through as I moved out. So Beyond the realm of possibility that Gary might have prodded Ryan into posing this yeah, question to he, you. He has is, he is committed the most fouls. I think we could put it that way. He's probably the most physical player, Ryan. So There you go. Inside knowledge right there into the guard family. Ryan, thanks for your question. The great game with the location up in Wausau, as well as four in the Madison area, east side of town, downtown Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. Coach Guard's radio show resumes live on Monday nights at the Great Dane Hilldale, including this Monday night at 7 o'clock. So if you're in the area, come on out and join us. Badgers playing at Penn State Sunday night, 6.30 tip uh, in State College, PA, and then back home on Friday night for an 8 o'clock tip off at the Kohl Center against Purdue. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> a boy who likes tractors and trains. A boy whose heart was far too strained. He was sick, you see, with a heart that broke. His heart needed fixing. His family needed hope. Enter our doctors with their newfangled tests. Enter our teams whose care is the best. Healthy and happy, the little boy's back. Playing with tractors and trains on his track. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.